down or die. I feel like, man, it's kind of crazy, dude. Indie devs have been popping the f*** off lately. Like, there's been good AAA games, but indie, ge indie games this year have already went f***ing ham. Like, this stu every studio has- every indie release this year has been so good. It doesn't matter if you like the genre or not, or the style. There's people who resonate with the games. I'll use Paul World as an example, because not everybody likes the Pokemon style. They still popped off. Oh, these are soul repositories. Ow! Just from like, hey, hey, we're a studio, not really, you know, it's like massive projects where they take a gamble on. So it's pretty cool when you see studios that aren't really worth much overnight are worth a fuck ton. I'm gonna actually do Devouring Plague. What is this? Return you to the position where two seconds ago reverted changes to your current health and mana since then. What? I have like a... I don't know when I would use that. Is that kind of like an oh fuck button if I'm gonna die? Is that what that is? And then if I run out of mana? Yeah, it's like Tracer's ult. Or Tracer's E. Oh yeah, that's a- okay. That's kind of like a- that's definitely an oh fuck button. Ow! At least that doesn't one tap. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm gonna go here. I Resistor has just inflict enemies of time and element that deals void damage over time. We could do more of that. Resistor has increased crit recovery speed. Void rifts deal more damage. You can store an additional charge? What? That's crazy. You can attack twice with that. It's already a nuke. I just realized I can I can do I can attack twice with my R and then hit E to regain all the mana and spin for like a lot of DPS. I can R R E and then spin. So it's like insane nuke. What the hell's going on here? Oh. So basically spam re. Uh, cooldown does not reset, no. The rebuild. Add this shit to max roll. This is Pug. What the shit? What is this? You can spec it to reset cooldowns. Ah. You could really morph these abilities around a lot, huh? It seems like there's crazy freedom. in the void. the void there's a white dot in the that looks fucked oh yeah not only that it's games that aren't sixty dollars popping off too so how much is this game 30 bucks Thirty-five. 
Damn, it's, it's very responsive, huh? Laughs in Tekken. I mean, Tekken, sure. Uh-oh. This guy was sacrificed. Fine, Tekken was well-received. People have been enjoying it. Okay. Wait, they added a cash shop to Tekken? Lol. Return to the cultist camp. The white box bug on the map was there still two years ago. Oh god. Hmm? Hmm? Farewell. Ah, uh, should I? Let me uh, sell some stuff real quick. Alright, anything physical increase armor, shield throw, plus one to shield throw, plus two vit. Vit. Int. Dodge rating. Throw damage. Can you actually do a build where you just keep throwing shields? Hey, yeah, what the hell? This was in here the whole time? I don't remember putting that. Oh wait, no, yes I do remember. Uh, melee fire damage, increased stun. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw all these away. Oh, this is the forge. There's no blacksmith here to sell shit? Come on, man. This game took five years to develop. They only got funding to start working on it more in 2021, though. Ah. Oh. They definitely popped off here. This is a very, very nice ARPG. It's very nicely crafted. It has bleed on hit. Oh, is that what's converted to the time bullshit? I thought yes. it was an affix, but it's at the bottom. Wait, this guy's a void too. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on, man. I gotta regen a little bit. Ow. Ow. I need more points in my. This uses less mana. I'm void, buddy. Why are you void? Right now, the bosses definitely seem easier than PoE. I feel like I died way more in PoE. It's still a bit early in the game, though. Okay, so we have a bleed on hit, but I don't know. The 22 uh, void damage I have is just so fucking good that I don't think it's worth switching just to get some time rot. I don't think it's worth it. Can you show us the in-game shop? I can't. I'm offline. Here we became way easier. Oh.
I like dropping these staffs though. Okay. That took a while to spawn. Yeah, we're getting some crazy mana issues. Oh, Warpath. Warpath hits deal more damage than enemies per stack of time rot. Very nice. So we need more things that apply the stack is needed. Max level is uh, 100, but yeah. Why not do the mana upgrade first? You know what? I should have. I don't know why I did that. I don't know if it's worth respecting back at least once. Okay. Explore the ancient forest. Damn, we went from killing some crazy void creatures to now just killing some, uh, raptors again. Bro, I'm full. There's no vendors. Where the hell are the vendors? Oh, here we go. Looking for you, buddy. Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to sell that. Whoops. Follow your feet. It's all good, though. Let's do one Gamba. One Gamba here. Hey there. Want to try your luck? Come on, 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 Oh, 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 maybe. Excellent choice. Fire damage. Melee. Melee on hit. Chance to... Nah. One more, one more, one more. It was a rare. A fine choice. You have a good eye. Void damage. Bleed on hit. Bleed on melee. Attributes. Damage over time. I guess I could see if this is... So this will all convert... The thing is, the only void da Oh, it does convert my right click to all void damage. So that is my void damage. So we do have that. I could try it. It is 568 compared to... I don't know what the math does. Is the math taking into account my void talent? I don't know if it is. Oh, Void Cleave's kind of cool. I think the pole arm is way better. It's missing the plus 22 flat. It does not take into account the time rot. Yeah, so this has two bleed chances on it. So this has bleed on hit, bleed on melee hit. So both of those are converted to chance to uh, time rot. Yeah, look at the time rot. The time rot proc is crazy now. It's still, so it's a little, I don't know if that means it's a little misleading. Uh, just looking like this to see what does more damage. Because this is stacking way faster. Oh, actually, Void Cleave feels kind of nice. Upgrade the Void damage on the weapon. Yeah, oh, yeah, true. I can, can I?
Increased damage over time is an upgrade for me, isn't it? Because void is damage over time. So that that is nice. It fits into everything. Oh, this is actually great. More mana. Mana regen. Health. Thank you. Yeah, the crafting is very satisfying in this game, I gotta say. It's it's very well done. It makes it enjoyable. Technically, to save inventory room, pro tip, just leave one shit item in here. Save six slots. Oh my god, my first actual legendary! Actual, not one just from a quest that everybody gets. Plus one to physical skills. 42 chance to bleed, so that's void. Move speed. Increased throwing speed. Damage reflected to attackers. Summer shit. But overall, we'll take it. Wait, you can throw affixes on this as well? Holy shit. I think you can. What do you mean, no? Oh, wait, you can't. It just looks like you can. Oh, forging potential zero. Whatever. Upgrade through it through. Very nice. Very nice. Amber, I can't tell what does more damage. It's seeing if time rot is going crazy because of my... It's hard. This is where these type of games are difficult because it's like, what the fuck is doing more damage? What is that? That's new. Rune of creation? What the fuck was that? Oh. Duplicate duplicates the item but reduces the forging potential of both the original and the copy to zero. Oh shit. So that would be good if I find a really good uh I roll a really good one-handed weapon, I duplicate it, and I I make a second one. Or a ring. Yeah, you can see the void stacks. You can see the void stacks and all the damage is coming off of... Oh, shit. Hold on. Lunge and... Uh... Sure. Uh, it's all coming off of this. Warpath hit deals more damage against enemies per stack of time rot. So if something is at 10 stacks, I'm doing like 50% more damage. So it's technically better on mobs that have more HP. Versus a flat plus 22 void damage. Hmm hard to say. Shatter your previous weapon for void shards. Wait, where the hell am I going here? Hmm. Miss the boss? What the hell? Where's the boss? Oh, shit. What up, dude? Let's see, look at the stack. So this stacks to 10 right now. I don't have the mana, so there's downtime. Bro, come out of the lava. I 
I guess I could test it on him by seeing. Okay, so that damage compared to what if I just throw this on now? I think this staff still does more damage. Even though I'm getting no time rot stacks. Now I am. Yeah, it's also way faster of a weapon. Base attack rate, 0 0.94, 0 0.92, slow, average. You know, oh, true, the belt is actually... Okay, I'm getting best of both worlds because the, the belt is giving me that extra time rot. Plus the, and now I have the plus 22 melee void. Technically the plus two all attributes. And I mean, this had increased void damage. So this is applying a shit ton of void and then increasing the damage of void. This is flat plus the time rot. Hmm. Yeah, should I shatter it? Fuck it, let's shatter it. Void damage shards, attribute shards. Melee, uh, void, all attributes. No forging potential. I just realized, am I doing this wrong? Am I forging this and it's taking one of like three I need in order to get this up a tier? One doesn't do it, I think. It takes one to ten. Yeah, am I not seeing it? Oh, it says it needs three. Oh, the number literally tells you. You need five of these shards to get to tier three. Or is that saying I have three? You have three, you only need one. How do you know how many you need? Does that mean this will upgrade? Costs one to 10 forging potential. <clears throat> oh, you always only need one. You just have to worry about forging potential. Oh, okay, 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 I gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I have to just hope, okay. So that kind of sucked because it used eight. Oh, that shit was good, because it didn't use any forging potential at all. And it got, like, a really fat upgrade. Mmm, I see, okay. Ah. Uh. We can throw some strength on the shoes. And then, what's the forging? 11 forging. So if we get a nice crit, we didn't. But it was minus 3, which is good. That was a minus eight. That killed it, but I got plus three strength. Use Glyph of Hope. Modifies the outcome of a craft, granting it a 25 chance to have no forging potential cost. Oh, so this makes it so you have like a, it, it favors, it gives you better odds. Uh, forging potential, 30, 1 to 18 requires level 32 to forge. Intelligence, mana regen. Five remaining. Okay, so that used it all. Vit. Minus four, that's not bad. Minus three. Some of these, it's kind of like, this is... I'm going to be replacing all this gear, so it doesn't really matter if I... It's all fucked. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, this has a great system. It's actually, it's very enjoyable. 
Return to the in the council uh, chambers. Quick try. Was there another light? Sure. I think so. I think that's what that was saying. Nothing. There is nothing. Now there's nothing. Now there's nothing. No, I've never played this game before. This is the first time. Oh, eight melee void damage. So once again, this is worth salvaging off. It seems like runes of shattering. I see why you want to try to buy these all the time because they're rare. Ah, uh, yeah, I see that. Every time you're at the vendor, you want to see if they have it. Yeah, all these other items blow ass. They're not that good. Where the fuck am I right now? Return to the ground of China, find the temple of there, explore the caves. It refreshes every 15. Try to shatter arms with two to three stats you will use. And shattering, all I'm getting is things to put in. When I shatter, I'm getting... Wait a minute, where am I right now? Greetings. Oh yeah, okay, we did this quest. Respecialized mastery, nope. Do not dwell Return to the chrono, me. find the temple of Atera. Let me sell yes. all this. Does she have runes of shattering? She does, perfect. So I will buy these. And then transfer material. And then I am uh, a Gamba addict, so... I'm gonna Golden go Sage. here and Blade just knight. gamba a two-handed axe. This one has 42 melee. Fuck you. Wanna give it another shot? So, I mean, technically, couldn't you do this? This is 42 base damage. So technically, wh why not do this? And then I can throw like void damage on it. Low potential? Oh, it only has 15 forging. Small forging potential. Commons have lower forging in general. Mmm, so that's the downside. Uh, ruined era. Where the fuck is the quest? Oh, right here. The Shattered Valley, the courtyard. I see, I see. It's better to keep your shattering for items that have higher tier mods. Higher tier mods. Refresh the gambler top right. Oh, you can just refresh it. Oh, I thought he died. Yeah, I thought this game always showed you where you need to go next, but you just need to... It shows you... It, it blinks when you discover more of the map. Equip your cosmetics. Uh, offline doesn't have an MTX. Alright, my R is just designed to just one-tap the... Mobs that have way too much HP. Or if there's a cluster like that. Oh yeah, let me actually replace this back with the Echo. Because I can't use that cleave. Need a bit more range. That's why. Missed a rune of shattering? Lies. Didn't you get cosmetics for pre-ordering? I don't think I pre-ordered this game. Where do you where do you equip cosmetics? I'll check. I don't think so though. I 
in your inventory. Missed the chest. God damn it, man. I always miss the chests. Where, 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 where? Ah, fuck it. There's probably nothing in there. Let's be real. There ain't shit. I see why they made it so you know MTX and offline, but... If I bought it online and then have to play offline, I should be able to bring him over. But oh, whatever. Too many, too many wardrobes and too many games. I swear the sacks have the most HP in this game. Okay, let's go towards mana. Nice. And then through here. Yeah, the things that spawn mobs have so much HP. Terra. Not bad, not bad. Does the mob density ramp up later on? Anyone know? I had one more in here. Oh yeah, okay, my my spin is getting way better for the mana. It's getting to the point where I don't need to worry anymore. I'm going to... As I go, um... It's that last talent that made the biggest difference. Oh, chest! Trash. Yeah, just one more point. Looks like he dies and then spawns back in. Melee spell 30, 20. M plus one to multi strike. Oh, so you can get like ability. Strength, attunement. I might actually. Uh, hmm. Nah, we're good there. Yeah, you can actually get things that upgrade the level of an ability, like in Diablo. Very nice. 
Oh, I might get the additional charge now. I need mana! Oh shit. Two of those? Insane mana now. Stand down or die. Need it to regen. And he's in the void now. He's no longer with us. Oh, there is a chest over there. All the way down this way. Man, that move's damage is fucking wild. Beer? I found beer. I can't pick it up. Now I can. Oh, it was a potion. I can hit R twice, burn all my mana, and hit E and get all my mana back. Sure, dude. That guy looks like... Oh, he's friendly. It's a rune prison. What now? Oh, shit. Someone was in there. Oh, fuck. Come bro. You did this. It's your fault. Where are you running, man? We're fighting here, guys. Stop. guy has my upgrade. Oh, shit. Why, why is this a weird... What's going on here? What is this color? Armor, dodge, health, 11, ward gain when you use a traversal. Oh, as a special line. Eh, it's not that great. What I want is this chest all the way down here that I'm gonna rush to. Group up, assholes. Oh, that had a bunch of idols in it. I'm full now. I'm gonna have to back out. Actually, maybe not. All these are potential upgrades. We gotta look at all this. Alright, what do we have here? Yikes! Yikes. Yikes. No. Thirty-six percent increased crit strike. Twenty-three percent increased crit uh, strike. Multi-strike mana dodge. Plus two vit fizz damage, minion damage, health regen, physical. Oh, nice. Vit fizz damage. Those are both great idols. Um, I don't know. 
know if any of these are that great. I think I might as well sell all of these. Yep. I mean, the, yeah, the ring I might... Uh, the ring crit is nice, but I have run speed on both my rings. I really like the movement speed. I might just shatter the ring. Is that actually raw plus 23% crit chance? It says my crit chance is 105 right now. Greetings. Oh shit. Do not dwell on regrets. Because of my amulet. Oh, true. So I'm at 67. Yes. Damn, that, that's a raw increase to crit strike chance. Wasn't the other one a percentage of 5%? Was it just labeled differently? Was the affix different? Follow your feet. It is raw, 100%, so it'd be 67. Yeah, that gives me a flat, raw, insane crit chance. Technically, if I use that thing and mirrored this, the cold damage and the physical resistance are kind of random. Yeah, all this other stuff is kind of random. Oh, the other one was an increase on base. Good resistance. Yeah, it has cold resistance and physical resistance. Alright, not bad. Can Warpath even crit? I mean, I'd assume void damage can crit. Yeah, it does crit. I don't know what the difference between a yellow crit is and a bigger... There's a yellow crit. And like a big white text crit. Even though all I do is void damage. It bricks it when you crit once. Wait, 2%? Your base crit is five. How was it 67%? Oh wait, what the fuck? Oh my fucking God, lol. I might as well just like throw another fix on this. There you go. Read the amulet. No, I know the amulet gives me 100% crit. Fifty percent less crit strike chance if you. D oh shit. Yep. Actually, this amulet kind of sucks ass. Then, huh? I don't see how it's good, other than 15 health gain on crit. Isn't it kind of shit? Now that I have crit, it's not that good. That's like a, you have no crit, then it's okay. Oh, fuck. Check my stats while kicking his ass. Oh, 
do it. Yes, take a note, bro. Well, I need, I need to replace it. Give me something to replace. Give me to replace. Give. I need that. Give. So now melee damage is useless because every... I mean, uh... My base damage is converted to melee damage. So, plus nine melee physical damage. I'd rather... Not that. A great battle was lost here. Darkness is all that is left. I mean, plus two to all at nine melee fizz. Yeah. Stand down or die. You ain't lying. Stand down or die. Oh god, there are like void spiders. These guys die fast. Good stuff. Oh, was that an amulet? Mana, cold, fizz, resi- Oh, that's trash. Uh, you know, might as well just replace it just to not get fucked on my crit. I, I instantly see a difference. <laughs> Insta difference. Lol. I'm not even gonna upgrade it. I'm gonna wait for a better uh, fixes. Yeah. So, what are what are the white crits though? What's the white? Uh, what is that? If I'm doing all void damage. Stand down or die. No. Uh, it looked like there was like a small white number and then a big white number. Like, the big white number look like a crit. That's what I mean. Whatever, though. Melee damage leeched as health. Oh, shit. Increased physical damage. Increased void damage. Oh, it gives you both. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, I actually should have put a point in there, but it's okay. While spinning, you cast Abyssal Echoes every five seconds. What is Abyssal Echoes? It's not in the codex. I was gonna do mana, but I went towards damage. Oh, actually, if you hit Alt, it tells you what the Strength Scaling, Vitality Scaling. Gains 26 spell void damage per vit. Deck strength attunement for Q. Strength. Yeah, twice and less moves you while sprinting. It's twice uh, at twice your attack rate, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, this skills on Vit too. Abyssal Decay deals a total of 120 void damage over its duration with added. No, Abyssal Echo. You know that echoes from up to eight enemies. It reaches and apply it. Those yeah, enemies with Abyssal Decay take void damage over time if they take a hit. Oh, nice. Okay. I just want to see if it has a visual tag. We'll see. Get the spin for five seconds though, so. Oh my God. Yo, these are dropping like candy now. 
Yo. Has anyone seen the Echo Proc? I didn't see any Echo Proc. Easy. Dex move. 5% less damage taken while moving. I mean, these are good defense boots. They're not like incredible. But they're, it looks like they're solid. I lose three shrank, but they're still good. They're not amazing, right? But they're still good. Oh, requires Void Knight level 10 to even use this. So I have to hit level... Uh, I need to hit... Level 10 here on Void Knight. Oh, one more level and I'll be able to do it. Easy. Thoughts on game? It's good shit. If you like ARPGs, it's good. The abilities are really, really sick. There's so much you can do. It has a, it has a nice upgrade system as well. Died, vanished, and took my loot. Come on, man. That literally deletes the mob from the game. Where's my shit, dude? He took the loot to the void. I mean, I wouldn't say this is fully one button. I'm using all my abilities, technically, even though my main ability is my right click spin. When the lineup is there, like, I will use my R and then E to get mana back and then W and Q. But yes, it is heavily based on my right click. This is actually kind of like a fun style, I feel like, right now. Good traversal. Good burst. Good filler mob damage. I'd use it, but all the stats suck sh ass on it. They're all bad. It might be worth just stripping the strength off of this. Because it's tier 3. Tier 3 movement speed as well. Movement and strength. I got both of them. Attunement, int. Garbage, garbage. Crit melee, at plus three attributes, plus two attributes. I guess shatter this for the plus three, tier three attributes. Yikes, I didn't get it. Yeah, my, maybe not even worth using those on tier three. Maybe wait a little while. It is slightly difficult to get that shit. Up. Oh, 
Oh, it's these things. Stand down or die. Stand down or die. Good job, man. You definitely scared them. Good job, brah. They're shaking. Our race is trying to increase stun chance and void rift hit deal more damage against stunned enemies. Bleed chance from all sources is converted to time rot chance for a racing strike and effects related to bleed now depend on time rot instead. Oh shit. Melee damage versus 12 stacks plus 100%. This is like the boss one tapper. Die. <laughs> All right, let's move. Damn, that was fast. Let's go back. Yeah, this is Void Knight. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what we have here. Yes. Yes. Oh shit. Give me that back. No. No. No, no. Transfer. New helmet is not worth it. I'm gonna leave this here. Okay, we're good. One Gamba though, one Gamba. You don't need a PhD in this game. All right, one Gamba. Buyback, oh, he does have a refresh icon. One Gamba. Come on, dude. Interested in another try? Come on, man. Want two Gambas, two. Bro. Wanna go again? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Does it cost gold to refresh? Come on, man. Not bad. 2100! Wow, these are all terrible. Was there an amulet? These items might be your best bet. There's no amulet here. Oh, wait, it's different. Uh, health. Light resist, move speed rings, melee attack, increase crit, increase melee attack. I think I, I don't know which one. I guess I could go more towards crit. Damn, these are so expensive though. It's 5,400 for a roll, like all my gold for a roll. No, thank you. No, thank you. What up, guys? I'm back. Oh, is the objective back here? That does tell you sometimes. 99% of gamblers quit just before they hit it big. It's true. Always gotta keep that in mind. Fuck that, I know when to quit. All right, I know when. Oh my God. Yo, why are these dropping like candy? 
I'm gonna be I'm gonna be legied out by the end of this shit. And it's all different legendaries. What do we have here? Dex. Plus 22 effects of haste. Plus 31% chance to gain haste for one second. Oh shit. Move speed dodge. This is good. I lose five. Um I lose five, what do you call it? But it's all good. Haste. What is haste? Is haste run speed? Or it must be attack speed. Abyssal Echoes. Oh my god, I got it now. This will auto cast Abyssal Echoes. Alright, let's move. Why is this saying it's down here, but it's a dead end? What the fuck? What's going on there? Oh, you know what? Lol, it's over here. Boys, I ain't seeing this abyssal shit at all. It is every five seconds. Was that it right there? You can see it go off for like one second right there. I don't have to equip it. I don't think so. Oh, it is that right there. It is that. It is. It's that very subtle little void move. are dropping so much gear now. I can't pick half of it up. What if there is a bug where I actually send them to the void and sometimes they don't give me my gear? Because sometimes these guys disappear and they don't drop shit. Nah, I doubt it. Oh, damn, 43. Oh, ooh, wait, bleed melee damage? Wait, 43 melee. Crit strike multiplier, crit strike chance. Chance to bleed. It really comes down to losing that plus 22 on the uh, void damage. Maybe it's worth... Is it bad? That 10 damage might be crazy. It's so much crit. 20% speed too. Where do you see 20% speed? I don't see the speed. Am I missing the speed? I'm not really following a build guide, no. Can I- I can't add void to this. It needs to be a prefix, not a suffix. Or else I could've. I could add chance to bleed on hit, which, yeah, are all attributes. I could try it. I don't know if it's gonna be more, uh, deeps. This might be a waste. Let's just see. It is 432 versus... 
541. But hold up. How much more crit? Wait, so my crit chance is 12%. I thought it was 67. So wait, no, crit is calculated, isn't it? Isn't it fi it's not flat. Yeah, it's not flat. It's 23 plus 36. So it's 59% times 5%. It's not flat. The base is five. Yeah, so it's five times. So I have base 5% and it's, uh, so it's giving me a little more crit. It's multiplied by your base crit, yeah. That makes sense. One ring giving you that much crit does not make sense. It's always off of your base. I feel like it's like that in every ARPG. You have to build up a shit ton of crit by having it on all your gear. You can't just have it on one gear and it just like skyrockets you. Right, let me sell everything. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, I just sold that. Fuck. Can you buy back? Thank God. That's what I mean by the quality of life in this game yes. is great. It has everything. Ugh. Every little thing it has. Oh, yeah, she had shards. Does every vendor have shards? But she's actually the only blacksmith, so never mind. So many pole arms. This guy's dropped so many rares now. Armor sh shard, what the hell? Yeah, it's really hard to tell what does more damage. This is just a faster weapon, it feels like. Oh, this looks sick. Nice. Oh, damn. We're going down here. Temple of Atera. Find one of the missing parts of the bridge device. Motherfucker, do I look like a mechanic? Damn bridge mechanic. All I do is unga bunga and spin. I could spin on the bridge chain. 
I'd make it go down. Alright, I did mana. Lunges, final hit now causes you to use javelin when using a spear. Killing enemy with lunge resets the cooldown of void cleave, uh, a racing strike, four strike, and judgment. Lunge to allies. Lunge is basically going to to fire. The Voidbringer node. Invulnerable while lunging. Lunge is basically to convert to void. Constantly, the damage scales with increase. Uh, oh shit. Wait, hold on. Yes, I'm actually going to build down there. Lunge find has a chance to apply frailty. Damage. Okay. Okay, let's go down here and get Voidbringer. We need Voidbringer. The void bring out. The void bring out. These guys do drop a lot of stat staves. I feel like I'm constantly picking shit up. I think that guy's scream lowers my mana. I think it does. Seems like it was. He was screaming in my face and I was losing mana. It does look like you can go negative. Mana debt. Thank you. Transfer. Sort. We shall go over that later. They, okay, that guy, he's dead. And he's dead. We got a shrine here. Oh, whoops. Oh, we gotta go the other, we gotta go back. I'm gonna have to probably sell everything again. I have a feeling it might be getting to a point where it's not worth... The, there's so many rares, I'm wondering if it's actually worth picking them up. Yeah, what was that? Someone said that was an end game loot filter. Do the same loot filter for yellows and filter out wands. Can I copy, duplicate the rule and do it for rare?
I don't know if I did that correctly. I feel like I have two of these. Okay. Need to hide all rares. Oh yeah, I'll hide all rares. We don't need rares at all anymore. There you go. Now I think it's good. Oh, this area looks sick. Wait, reactivate the bridge. Oh, we have to port here, get the item, and then go back. Wait, I bricked it? Hide all magic, hide all normal, show all rare, show all rare. What do you mean? You won't want to hide magic. Hide all magic, show rare, hide all normal. Am I wrong? Wait, show all rare items with 10 affixes. Wait, no, I don't want to get rid of rares. You want to hide rares, not show it. I thought rares are the yellows. Yeah, you, I want the affixes, wait, regardless of rarity? I don't think so. Yes. I see it. Do I just need a general rule that hides all the rares? I just assume this is going to show all the rares that have the 10 affixes, so it auto hides the ones that don't. I need a general rule that just hides the rares. I thought that's already applied in here. So now I just generally hide all rares. Follow your feet. Your first two will you can multiply conditions in one row. Oh yeah. Wait, I feel like it's still fucked. Increase melee. Damn it. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It's going to show that because of the increased melee damage. I think the affixes I need to change. The actual affixes it's showing. 10 selected. Ailments. Bleed. Actually, never mind. That's fine. You want that. You won't see blues with your wanted attributes anymore. I guess I guess I see what you're saying cuz technically Oh my god, I just found a I just found a a good one. This one has Wait, no it doesn't. Never mind. I gotta go all the way back. I guess so. I would need... Is there... You really want to farm the blue affixes? I guess for the materials. Because I could find a blue and then make it a... I could upgrade it and make it a rare. Where are we 
going here? Yeah, true. Damn, you can do so much with this. I feel like now I'm, my filters are screwed. Because I do need to do, like, plus level. Level of Warpath. Endurance while channeling Warpath. Increase Warpath area. Like, you want to add more affixes. I feel like... I'm, did I fuck up and just make two of these? Right? I could make it so the rarity, yeah, I could just make it so this doesn't matter. So it just shows, as long as it has these affixes, it will show. I know this is endgame shit, I think I'm just gonna copy the loot filter just for shits. And I think you go here, and I'm just gonna see if it works. Nice! Okay, I think- I think it's applied. I know they have a leveling guide, I'm just not really following it. I'm following a little of it. This will give me all the relevant gear now. Yeah, it's such a smooth way to add filters. It's like a very, very good system. Yeah, PoE 2 should like copy that. I'm assuming it's active. It must be. Manage loot filter. Yeah, it shows what loot filter is working right now. It shows it on the top left. You guys give no XP. Your crit strikes deal more damage for each passive point you have invested in the void night tree. Throwing void damage. Spell void damage. Whenever you kill an enemy, you have a chance to absorb 5% of its health. Melee void damage, and every three seconds your next melee attack deals increased damage. We'll add some crit. We'll do the crit build. The bridge. Yeah, the servers are still fucked. Whoa, the Lich King? Is that the fucking Lich? Arthas? We just enter ICC? in the war and then this guy showed up and he just started spinning and killing everybody uh-oh yeah we gotta go to the right Husk of tenacity. This motherfucker's got all the goddamn titles. I 
was a harsh smash that missed. Stuff, good stuff. Definitely my mana problems have gone down a lot. Investing those points. As I go oom. Um. The main oom um causer is my R though. Nice, nice. I can do good burst with two charges and hitting Q while spinning, all while staying in spin. So it's like solid burst throughout. The end of ruin. Ah! Oh shit, what? Oh, we made it. The end of ruin. Ethra is dead. Our abyss is free. Oh shit. Emperor's uh, remains. Wait, this guy's void as well? Guy's stealing my strat. All right, we still have mana problems here, and uh, we're not really getting the time rot debuff on this guy enough. I'm gonna see if I can stack time rot on this dude. Oh no, no, I don't have any mana. It's very difficult to do it. It falls off so fast. Drop two legendaries. After eons alone, three again become one. On the precipice of a broken world, there is hope. The epoch is reforged as the traveler left. Oh, began. The end of time. Oh no. Speak with Elder Gasper. Elder Gasper. Oh, he's up top here. Yeah, that guy didn't drop anything. What a piece of shit. These guys live in a cool area. I believe we Oh my god, you think the loot filter the dude no way no way the loot the filter no that must have meant it was all trash they, they seek out the outcome Oh yeah I have to hit X leader of the living rebels and show her the epoch the rest No nah, I don't you think it would really um dis you think it would really filter out like the legendary drops? That'd be kinda stupid. Yeah, but wouldn't endgame have void damage and melee damage stats? It can't be that different.
So you're telling me they have a fucking leveling guide and no leveling filter, just an end game loot filter? What? That doesn't make sense. This is a fucking guide on leveling. Where's the leveling guide filter? You go to loot filter. You're looking at an end game build. This fucking guy, bro. Motherfucker. This fucking motherfucker. Okay, bro. Probably just missed like 300 upgrades, Sage. Hmm. I see. I just hmm. don't Stay want safe. to filter through a bunch of trash. Just tell me what the fuck to pick up. You know what I mean? Why are you showing me the forge again? We have been here. Ooh, increases void damage. 16 health, void resistance, armor, void damage, upgrade. Damn. 33 void damage. Twenty-eight to forge. Yeah, we'll just leave it at three. Use a scroll. I don't. You really think it's worth using a scroll right now? I don't think you can. It requires. They drop pretty often. Plus, I still need 28. You can't just pop it. Unless I was doing it incorrectly. Unlo oh, you have to be level 28 to craft that. Oh, for the fourth slot. Because that would be... Mm, okay. You got online on US West? Nice. I swear this, like, chat box just got... Fucking huge. Hey, new act! We're out of the void area. Now we're fighting some zombies. Travel west to Wellreen. Wellrin. Definitely still having mana problems. Damn, damn. 